Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Libra. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you that would like to have a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for my collective this week. Alright, so somebody is frustrated with a relationship here. They feel like they're not good enough for the relationship. Could be with a twin flame. But instead of you guys balancing out each other and coming into union, it seems like this person makes you feel your insecurities. That is for you to work on them. But you will be seeing things a lot clearer very soon. And you're going to be meeting someone new. Someone that is going to want to take you out on a date. This person is going to be very affectionate to you. For some of you, you have been manifesting union with your twin. Because things has never seemed to go as planned when it comes to this person. But there is a balance being achieved here. Yeah. There is going to be an, an intense chemistry happening here. So for those of you do, that do not know who your twin flame are, it is possible that some of you will be meeting your twin flame very soon. But there will be an insane attraction to this person. Yeah. Someone is in separation here. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. There was some type of ending happening or separation happening between the both of you. Which usually happens in a twin flame dynamic. Where you guys have to work on your insecurities. Where you reflect back to each other the, th the things that you need to fix. So I feel like this, this, this specific relationship is in separation right now. Yeah. This person may have chosen someone else over you. And you took the time, the separation, to start doing some healing on yourself. <coughs> and I feel this person is coming back in. Hmm. This person may still have some evolving to do. So be careful when they come back in that they have done the work on themselves or they are doing the work on themselves. Yeah. Because this person have been keeping tabs on you. And as soon as your new person shows up, they're going to resurface. Hmm. Yeah. This person ran from you because of their fear of intimacy and them wanting to be in their ego. So this person was the runner in the relationship and you chase. But abundance is coming in for you when it comes to a relationship. Could be with a soulmate. Yeah. But this person, once that happens and you start to go out with the soulmate, your person will be triggered to start looking at their wounds. Start looking at themselves. At the relationship. So this will be the catalyst for your twin flame to start doing the work on themselves. Yeah, chaser. So you guys are both in the runner chaser phenomenon right now. And in this aspect of the twin flame journey, if you don't do the work on yourself or they don't do the work on themselves, it's a constant run and chase. 
So focus on you, focus on making better and healthier decisions. Do your shadow work. But there is someone coming in. Yeah. It's time for you to heal here. Yeah. yeah. And the person coming in is a soulmate. It's not going to be a one night stand or anything like that. This person is coming in for a real relationship. It would be your choice at the end of the day what you choose to do. But I'm telling you right now, this twin flame connection is in a runner chaser phenomenon. And if you don't settle down and start to do the work on yourself, this could happen for years. Focus your attention on you, on healing you. And getting to where you need to be. And there is nowhere that it is written that you have to wait on your twin flame until they are ready. It's not advised. All right, let me see what else is coming through here. Yeah. Yeah, the person you're going to meet there is going to be a, 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 a chemistry. So it's, it's an insane attraction happening here. And as regards to your twin flame, refocus. Refocus on that ending and you having growth within your life and a rebirth for yourself. Yeah. Because your person is still in this type of deceptive energy. Uh, they're not ready to look at their, their traumas yet. But they might be coming back in wanting to have some type of sexual connections to you. And then yet again, they will run so they will detach themselves from you. They will make you feel like you're not good enough. And this will also push you towards what it is you're meant to do and who you're meant to be with. But this person is coming back in to trigger you again. Yeah. For you to start doing some inner child healing. To find stability within yourself and stop chasing this person. But find harmony in yourself. Yeah. Because this dynamic, it's, it is a mirrored situation. And what you need to fix in you is what your twin would be reflecting back to you. So please keep that in mind. Live any moment. And the moment right now is someone new is coming in for you. The divine is giving you some karma to balance you out. Yeah. And your person is going to feel once you detach from them. Or you stop chasing them. And that is going to be their catalyst for change and evolution. Yeah. Someone is coming in with a love offer to you. <laughs> could be a divine masculine like I said this person is going to come back in for some type of sexual connection with you but then they're going to abandon you again but you need to say no to this person and move on with your life it is the honest way union could take place in this situation yeah because this person does need to do some inner child work because they do sabotage this connection over and over again they keep running from you and once you stop chasing and redirect your, your energies, yeah, they are going to start feeling it. They are going to start feeling this, the withdrawal. Yeah, you have a decision to make between your present moment and waiting on this person to return to you. But know that even though they return, they are not ready for the type of commitment that you are ready for. Yeah. The divine is gifting you with a new relationship. Work on yourself and trust your intuition here. Because your person is spying on you still. But they have to be awakened to their divine masculinity. So release the process, surrender to the divine and purge from any toxicity. For some of you, you may be having dreams from your twin flame, telepathic messages. But understand this. Because this person is reaching out to you in your dreams, are they healed enough? Or are you just being triggered? Or are they just being triggered 
to work on themselves. Yeah. Yeah, to work on themselves. So for a lot of you, you need to let this person be for right now. Union between you and this person is not yet. But there is someone coming in for you to help you heal from this person and this dynamic. Alright, so it's time for you to surrender to the process. Keep working on you, but it's time for you to move forward as well. This is what it, this is what it is going to take for your divine masculine to start to awaken. This would be the, that person's trigger to start doing the work on themselves. Yeah. Once you make the decision to cut them out of your life and move on, it is going to trigger them to change. Because they keep making you feel like you are not good enough when you chase them. Yeah. There is always someone else that they're choosing over you. This person is very controlling and manipulative as well. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. But you have a decision that you're going to be faced with very soon. Between your twin flame and a soulmate coming in. There will be a lot of passion between you and the soulmate. There will be new beginnings. This person will be coming in very quickly and speaking their truth as to what's letting you know that they want to be in a relationship with you. It could be that this person, yeah, trust your intuition here. Trust your inner compass, trust your guidance, trust your third eye. Yeah. Because it is time, although you and this person, you and your twin flame are perfectly matched, it is time to release this energy and move on for now yeah because they have been ignoring you they've been they've been treating you like you're an option but they do keep an eye on you very closely because they know that you are their twin flame they know you are their person but they keep doing these messed up things to you and it's time for you to accept the truth and even though this connection is strong and magnetic you do not need this person to damage you further when it comes to love. Yeah. You're going to have the victory with the new person coming in. They will treat you really well. And they will help you heal. This is going to be a brand new beginning for you. And this person is coming in with genuine emotional feelings for you. This, this person is very stable. Right? So this person is emotionally stable to be in a commitment with you. Yeah, they're going to make you, they're going to help you to forget the betrayal. They're going to help you to forget all the things you've been through with your twin flame. And they are going to match your energies. But you have to decide you want it. You have to decide to really walk away from your twin flame and let that go. Because this person, this is what it will take to trigger them into change. But the decision will be yours at the end of the day. You have to decide what it is you want. What does Libra need to know? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you could have children with this twin flame. Or it could be a new beginning happening for you. Yeah. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this is the stage that you and your twin flame is at right now. It's a love-hate connection. But there is someone coming in that you're going to be drawn to. A magnetic attraction here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you need to pay attention to the red flags of your twin flame and don't always take them back. Sometimes you need to leave them out in the cold in order for them to realize what they're doing. Word waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. So understand that divine timing is at work in this situation with your twin flame. Past life connection. You have known each other before. Make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from your friends. So people, it's your decision to make. But this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.